Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. If you're new to my channel, I'm Kirti Kumar, a bridal makeup artist, YouTuber and a blogger. And in case if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video. And yes, uh, I have done this tutorial of this makeup look which I'm wearing right now. It's basically a, a minimal cut crease kind of makeup look which is like very wearable. It is not like too deep cut crease but it is very wearable and super easy. So without any further ado, let's get on the video. Firstly, I'm gonna start my makeup with this Tatcha water cream guys. It comes with this cute spoon over there. All you have to do is take that spoon out, scoop a bit of product from the tube and you have to apply that on your skin. The best part about this product is that it is a water burst cream guys. So when this cream comes in contact with your skin, it bursts out into water. This cream is suitable for every skin type and the best part is that it is loaded with some anti-aging Japanese nutrients. It gives best results when used on a regular basis uh, into your skincare regime. I'm not using any primer guys, so I'm using some adequate amount of moisturizer. Now I'm going with this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Can you guys see how runny and how liquidy that foundation is? I'm so much in love with this one. Basically, this is a foundation that gives, that literally feels like a second skin. This is so liquidy and you can actually find that in the name itself, it's invisible. So you will literally feel like it's your second skin. The best part is that it is actually a medium to full coverage foundation but it, it will not give you that full coverage with just one application but the thing is you can go and build the product up guys because it's so runny and liquidy it it will not cake up your makeup so you can almost um, layer up to three to four times with this foundation now i am taking another coat so basically i'm doing another layer with this foundation I took again two to three pumps of foundation, I'm dotting that on my skin and I'm gonna blend that out with a cosmetic wedge. So I basically come into the warm category guys. So if you wanna know how you can actually find your undertone, which is very important if you're picking up a foundation, do check out my video on my Facebook page where I've talked all about how to find your undertones. Now I'm taking up this NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger and I'm applying that on all my areas where I have to highlight with my concealer that is under my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my forehead my cupid's bow and on my chin by the way uh, sorry <laughs> by the way I'll be leaving all the product details and uh, the shade details in the description box below so please do check it out there and I'm blending that all out with a cosmetic wedge again by the way that is a damp cosmetic wedge guys I've sprayed some MAC fix plus over it Now I'm taking that concealer from the MAC concealer palette and I'm applying that on my eyelids just to remove the discoloration and the thing is that concealer also acts as like an eyeshadow base or like an eyeshadow primer. So in case if you don't have an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer you can use a concealer. You don't need to use both guys you can just go with one. If you use both you are literally packing too many products out there and you'll feel a difficulty when you are actually working with your eyeshadows if you use two of them so just go with one now i'm setting all that concealer in place by applying a powder on top just any loose powder or even a compact powder or just a pale eyeshadow works there now for my eyes i'm going with the urban decay naked heat palette which is one of my favorite palette i'm taking that shade out there and i'm applying that on my crease with a lid shader brush. That brush is from Sigma guys. I'll be leaving all the brush details also in the description box below. And I'm applying my eyeshadow in the windshield wiper motions in my crease. So basically I took that brush because I am doing a bit of cut crease makeup over here and I want my crease to be a little more defined and like sharp. So that's the reason I took um, 
shader brush because the tip of the brush is so precise and works good if you are concentrating uh, to give a defined finish over there. But you can also go with a blending brush over there guys. It's, it's just your wish. You have to pick up whatever you're comfortable with. Now I'm taking that shade over there with a blending brush. That's a tiny blending brush. And I'm applying that on my crease to basically give a brightening effect to my crease. Actually, I'm darkening my crease with that other color. When it comes to makeup, it's all about layering the products, guys. It's all about building. First, go with a light eyeshadow, then take a darker version of the same color, build it up, mix different colors, experiment with the different colors. That's, that's all about makeup. And now I'm taking an, the concealer that I've used previously. So for cut crease, you have to apply a concealer over there. So I'm applying that concealer only on the lid area. If you see, I'm not taking that onto the crease. I'm not taking it even in the outer area. I'm just applying it on the lid. So use a precise brush to be perfect with that. Now I'm applying a pale eyeshadow from that palette itself. And I'm applying that on the concealer area that is on my lid. So I'm applying that on the concealer where I've applied. You can also substitute with any shimmer eyeshadow over here guys but I just want this look to be very subtle like very wearable. I don't want this look to be like very very dramatic. So as I want to put this look natural and subtle I'm going with a pale non-shimmer eyeshadow but you can use a shimmer eyeshadow if you really like to go a bit dramatic. Now I'm taking this MAC Black Track Gel Eyeliner and I, I'm applying that on my eyes. If you observe, I'm not taking much into the inner corner of my eyes, guys. I'm just concentrating it on the outer part and I'm doing a very small wing. And I'm not concerned about the neatness at this point because anyway, I'm going to give a smudged effect by applying eyeshadow later on. Now I'm taking those two shades from that palette again with an angular brush and I'm going to smudge my um, gel eyeliner with that. Actually, I'm not smudging it, but I'm creating a smudged effect by applying an eyeshadow on top of that. So I'm not actually sweeping the product out. I'm just gently placing the eyeshadow and giving a gentle rub kind of strokes over there. Now again, I'm taking those two shadows and mixing them and I'm applying that on my lower water lash line. So this is something that I do in every video of mine, guys. Use a shadow underneath your kajal that is like on your water, water line, lower water line and you can instantly transform your look to the next level. Now I'm taking this Bold Lash Mascara from MAC. I will be leaving all the product details in the description box below and I'm applying that on my bottom and top lashes. The best part about this mascara is that it has got two wands guys. So that is the wand, the other wand which comes with that teeny weeny cute mascara which you can be used on uh, the lower lashes. It is very convenient and the best part is it doesn't make your lashes clumpy. Now I'm setting all, the, all of my concealer by using the Krylon loose powder. You can use any loose powder guys but I prefer loose powders that has a hint of yellow undertones to it because I have warm undertones in my skin. Now I'm taking this MAC bronzer and I'm applying that as my contour. So I have taken my Urban Decay eyeshadow brush as usually and I'm contouring my nose with that. And I've taken a blush brush and I am also contouring my cheeks and my jawline, my forehead a bit. Basically, I am not contouring in depth, guys. Not like too much contouring. I'm just providing a bit of warmth to my face. Now, I'm taking this blush which is called Sunbask from MAC and I'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks with a blush brush. Now I'm taking up this highlighter from MAC which is called Improper Copper. This is a cream color base and this is the product that I use in almost every video of mine again and also on almost every bride of mine. So I'm applying that on my 
uh, high points of my face that is on my cheekbones my cupid's bow on my chin my bridge of my nose my forehead everywhere like where we have to basically apply your highlighter these days i'm more into layering up the products guys now i am taking the mac powder highlighter which is called soft and gentle i'm taking a blending brush and i'm applying that again on my high points so basically i'm layering the products so first i have applied a cream highlighter then i am layering with a powder highlighter so highlighter literally transforms your whole look guys highlighter gives you that natural radiant healthy glow to your skin I cannot miss out a highlighter guys even if I don't go with a blush even if I don't go with a contour I will always go with a highlighter I'm also applying the same highlighter as my brow bone highlighter with uh, by using a flat eyeshadow brush you can even apply this with your fingers guys but i feel that working with brushes gives a neat a neat finish now i'm taking this lipstick which is from charlotte tilbury and the shade is called miranda may i am really in love with this formulation of this lipsticks and the colors guys they are the comfortable matte formulas again and uh, that's all for this video guys and I hope you love, love this look and in case if you do so please don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video and also don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms so that you can get to know more about me and we'll, we'll be seeing you soon with another video guys till then have a great day bye